Hey guys, Mike Filsame here. I'm gonna show you something that I did with AI that you can do. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna take a look at my screen and walk you through it. Okay, so here's your problem. You have a lot of content. You do podcasts, you do long form live streams. You have videos that go anywhere as you can see from 45 minutes to sometimes two hours. What you don't have is a lot of shorts and you don't have many clips. All of your stuff is 50 minutes to an hour to 45 minutes. Let's face it, we're not YouTubers and we're not good at making 10 minute videos. But what if you could? Well, you can, but you don't. Why? Because it's hard to find anyone with any talent to go through and watch your one hour, two hour, and three hour videos, webinars, and live streams. And even if they do, they have to put start points and end points for any good content and shorts, and then give it to a video editor to find that work, and it's grunt work, and most of us don't do it. The truth is, that's why most digital marketers don't have very good YouTube channels. But what if you could use AI to go through a video and find all of the shorts and clips for you and give you exactly what you need to give to your video editor. I'm talking start and stop timestamps, a title for the YouTube video, a description for the YouTube video, keywords for the YouTube video, exactly what to do on your thumbnail and what text should go on your thumbnail. It can even tell you if it's a short or a clip and how long it's gonna be. So let me show you this workflow. And I promise when you're done, you're gonna have something that you could give to your team to instantly go through videos on your YouTube channel to break them down into micro clips and shorts to blow up your YouTube channel. Okay, I'm gonna do it with one of these videos with my friend Rich Sheffron. Well, let me show you. I did one here with Tony Robbins so I can show you the output real quick. Here's a video that we had it analyzed and I'm going to show you a tool that does that automatically. And then I put these prompts in and I'm going to share all of these prompts and this Google Doc here with you and you'll do exactly what I did. And what ends up happening is you get an output that looks just like this. It gives you start and stop, what the text was when it started and ended, the title for your YouTube video, your description, your keywords, thumbnail design, and the reason why it chose this clip and it categorizes it as educational and inspirational. Here's another one. It gives you the reason why, educational and motivational. Here's a short, a reason why. Okay, let's close this. Let's come to here. The first thing you're gonna need is a Chrome extension called Glasp. You simply click on this, it's gonna open this up and you just add it to Chrome and it's that simple. What that allows you to do is go to any video on YouTube and do the following. Go to your YouTube channel and you choose the video that you want to analyze for this workflow. Now, I'm gonna choose this one here because it's an hour and 14 minutes. It's, it's with Jay Abraham and Rich Sheffern. I have no idea what it's about, but we're gonna find out. I like this one because it's a conversation and it's gonna be a good demonstration because it's like a Joe Rogan in conversation, hot seats and book notes. So let's see what happens. The first thing we do is we load this video and I'm gonna hit mute. Now with this extension from Glasp, all I have to do is click drop down right here. And just like that, I get a transcription with timestamps. Now, they've just added this ChatGPT plugin that all you have to do, it's already baked into the Chrome extension. You just click this and it opens up ChatGPT. It drops it in there. It types in video summary and it gives you a video summary. So now let's take a look at the workflow and what's actually happening. Okay, in this workflow, step one, download the Chrome extension. You don't need to do that once you've done that. Remember, I'm gonna give you a link to this doc so you can just literally copy and paste the prompt. But first, let me walk you through what's happening. First, we tell it, Okay, from now on, when I refer to the conversation, it's about the conversation you just analyzed. Can we continue? And that's essentially this. Then we say you're an expert content creator, YouTuber, educator, teacher, video editor, and marketer. Your specialty, this is a creating a token definition that we can use in the future just by typing in the word specialty, is going through the entire the conversation and finding it will then respond. And then we add this prompt. And we're basically telling it like how somebody would have to do this with a Joe Rogan podcast. They'd have to go through looking for clips that are three, 10 minutes, 15 minutes long, find something that's newsworthy, co controversial, educational, or has to do with pop culture. It's looking for educational nuggets, anecdotes, etc. And we're gonna call these clips. And then we say the same thing is, it's gonna use its specialty to find shorts. We're gonna call these shorts, and these are things that are gonna be about one minute. After we drop that prompt in, it will respond, and then we just wanna just remind it, do you recall the conversation you just analyzed? That's an important step. Don't worry about it. It just makes it work better. And then you just drop this final prompt in, and we say, okay, here's your task in the conversation. You just summarize, and then you're gonna paste that summary right in that red section. You're gonna see me build this out. And then I want you to do the following. And we say start task, and then at the end here, it says end task, so that it knows exactly what's going on. We say I want you to find sections in the conversation that are worthy of being clips and shorts based on your specialty. Then I want you to state 
Whether you found a short or a clip, I mean the start and stop timestamps, the title, the description, the keywords, the thumbnail design, whether it thinks it's viral or a pop culture or humor. And then I give it an example output so it knows exactly how I want my output. And then there are some rules for it to follow here. So let's do exactly what we did right here. We're gonna scroll up to the top and we're gonna add this prompt. Okay, we're gonna hit copy and we're gonna right click and we're gonna hit paste. And just like that, we've started the process. Now I simply go to step two and I take this, and I copy and then I paste. Now we get this output, just let it do its thing here. The next prompt right here, and we're gonna paste this in here. It says it makes sense. Now we have to remind it of the conversation. This is just a little important step that I find gets better results. It's gonna say, yes, I remember the conversation. And now we drop in in the bomb and we're gonna get all of our results here. We simply take everything to the rest of the document and we're gonna paste that in here just as you see. But remember the document says that we have to in this red section put the summary that it gave. So we're gonna go back up and find that summary and that's right here. This is the summary that it gave and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna put that in the brackets right up at the top. I'm gonna to hit paste and now watch just like this we're gonna get everything that we need to give to our video editor so they don't have to watch hours worth of content. They can literally just follow these directions right here. At 20 minutes to 26 minutes, we have a clip that's worthy. It starts with, so one of the things that I teach people and ends with gives you a better result. Title, how to translate direct response mythology to different industries. Here's a description for the YouTube video to put in at YouTube. These are the keywords that we're gonna use in YouTube. It tells us what we need for a thumbnail design, what text that we put on the thumbnail, it tells us the reason why I chose this clip, because it offers valuable insights into marketing and problem solving, which are important topics for many businesses. Additionally, it provides actionable tips that viewers can implement in their own business. And it's categorized for us to know educational and business growth. That was a clip. Here's another clip and here's another clip and here's a short. And just like that, we have everything that we need. Now I can type simply find more. It's gonna find a couple more. Maybe they're good, maybe they're not as good, but the bottom line is now it just watched a YouTube video for you and has a workflow that you can just give to an editor instead of having somebody spend hours going through your three hour live stream to find clips. You simply follow this workflow and you're done. This is just absolutely phenomenal. And we're gonna start creating micro content on our YouTube channel with shorts and clips. Just like Joe Rogan and every other podcaster has two channels. They have their main channel and Joe Rogan is called the Joe Rogan Experience. But what gets more views is actually JRE Clips. The Clips channels on YouTube are separate channels that get more views. You want to put clips at a separate channel, but you can keep shorts on your own channel. Either way, you have everything that you need. I hope you found this helpful. Now, we're going to be building these workflows into Groove.ai. We're offering a lifetime deal on it. It's going to be out in the middle of this year. Just click the buttons underneath this video to learn more. So what are you still doing here? Click that button right underneath this video and stay tuned for more emails and more case studies about AI. We'll see you soon. Now get ready for the power the power of groove, hey, I become a backer of groove today.